Well, just when buyers and small businesses can least afford it, it appears that Canada's banks are about to try to charge more for the plastic card you use the most in your wallet. In fact, Interact debit cards, which are supposed to only break even, are used by Canadians more often than just about any shoppers on the planet. Global's Anna Gebauer uncovers the hidden fee increase you may be asked to pay. Okay. Canadians love their debit cards. Over 60% of us have used ours in the past week. Over a quarter of us, more than five times a week. It's fast for consumers and cheap for merchants. But Canada's leading payment brand, Interac, could be on the cusp of becoming a for-profit business. They were charging a fee already, so why would they have to charge an interest or, or a percentage when they're not actually doing anything? Interac charges merchants a flat fee, often less than a cent per transaction. But now the nonprofit association, founded by Canada's major banks, is seeking approval from the Competition Bureau to restructure in order to be more competitive against credit card companies wanting into the debit market. In a written statement, Interact says the payments market is rapidly changing and increasingly competitive. That Interact needs to adapt in order to respond to the evolving needs of Canadians. Canadians are second only to Sweden when it comes to debit card use. It's a massive market, and Interact could be on the verge of tapping into multi-billion dollar profits if the Canadian Competition Bureau clears the way. Uh, you're just taking money out of your account and putting it into your purchase. Where is the extra service? This is a pure money grab at the absolute worst time. Faced with increasing transaction fees, merchants may opt to pass those costs on to consumers, who are already becoming more stringent with their spending. I think that maybe we'll go back to the old-fashioned way and encourage people to either pay by checks or cash, where it could be benefit to all. Interact is still before the Competition Bureau. It could be some time before any decisions are made. But breaking the habit of going cashless could be tough especially for a country addicted to using their debit cards. Anna Gebauer, Global News, Vancouver.